Hey guys, I'm Jameson with Rogue Engineer, and today we're going to show you how we built our master closet. The cool thing about this closet is that it's broken down into sections so you can mix and match and customize it for your closet at home. All right, let's get right into the build. Since we had a lot of closet sections that we needed to build, I knew that cutting all the lumber down with, um, with just a standard circular saw and table saw was going to be very time consuming. So luckily enough, we have a next door neighbor who is also a cabinet maker and allowed us to use his ridiculous table saw, uh, which saved us a huge amount of time. But before we could start assembling the cabinets, I needed to build some platforms. I did so out of two by eight, um, which we cut the top quarter inch of that off. Um, then we built just a, a simple structure and set a sheet of MDF on top of that. The structure comes out 24 inches from the wall and um, the MDF sits on top of that and then the baseboard wraps the front. So all you see is baseboard and then MDF for a nice clean built-in look. So we opted to get all of, the, all of the parts cut down to size and then paint them. It's just easier to paint them all individually before the assembly. Um, but the one problem with that is that you're not able to glue the joints. Um, it's, I'm okay with that since once everything's installed, it's going to be very solid. However, if you did want to glue the joints, you'd either need to paint after, um, because basically what happens is once you glue over top of paint, the paint is the first thing that fails. So the paint will just peel off of the substrate and uh, it makes for a very weak connection. So for this closet system, we went with MDF as the substrate or the, the product that we would use to frame everything out of. Um, and I chose that product because it has a super smooth finish um, and it paints up really well and it looks good painted up. However, it is a difficult material to work with. You could, you could opt for plywood, um, makes it a little bit more time consuming to finish, uh, but it gives you a stronger connection when you're screwing everything together. Uh, unlike MDF, MDF, you have to use a very fine or very small screw and you also need to make sure that you pre-drill ahead of time. I did a couple of them without pre-drilling and sure enough, the MDF started to separate on me, um, which is still the case sometimes when you pre-drill. So you just gotta play around with it and make sure that you get a nice snug connection. So I like to get all of these sides uh, where I want them and the shelves in the right place and then tack them in place with an 18 gauge brad nailer. And that's just gonna hold everything in place so then when it's time to pre-drill, I don't have to worry about the shelves sliding around and, and getting out of alignment. Okay, so now that we've got it all tacked in place, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill um, three screws on each one of these, not too close to the side uh, so that we don't risk this separating. Um, and then I'm going to screw them in place with two inch, um, those are trim head screws. So right now what I'm doing is I'm installing, uh, I ripped these two by fours down to two inches wide. And these are just blocks um, that are going to be able to secure the two units together. Uh, but they're also going to give me a face to nail my trim to uh, other than this MDF. So they're going to make sure everything's nice and solid. I'll put two screws in here and then when I get that unit up here, we'll mount that to that. Everything will be tied in together. Okay. 
Okay, so one minor mistake that I made was that um, I didn't account for the fact that a full sheet of MDF is actually 97 inches long. Um, I was going for a 96 inch high uh, unit and then when I pieced the two units together I quickly realized that the, the units that were pieced together uh, that had an upper and a lower uh, were 96 inches tall and then the full size unit was 97 inches tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an inch um, to the bottom of the the upper unit and that will make them the same height and then once it's um, filled and sanded and painted it'll blend right in and it will have no problem. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to build. It came together pretty quickly. And uh, overall, we're very happy with how it turned out. If you want the full plans for each of those closet sections, make sure you hit up Ryomi Nation where they will all be. I'll make sure to link up to those below. And uh, if you're looking for those links, you can head on over to my website as well and find all of that information. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any upcoming projects. Until next time, be safe and happy building.